Hi guys, another Fendi handbag here to um, review. Yes, I have been um, buying Fendi's um, lately. And this is in the um, Pequin or Pequin, Pequin uh, pattern. So this is a vintage um, style. It is in coated canvas and this is a uh, cross body bag. And uh, it may be a little bit uh, short for tall people, but uh, I would say this is a cross body because it's too long for a shoulder bag. And since cute crossbody bags are very, very in right now, and this uh, pattern has been also have had a revival. <laughs> and so this is in the, uh, the shape of this bag is like tambourine, or uh, I would simply put it as um, canteen bag or tambourine or canteen bag. And um, it's like in a saddle shape, but um, more oblong <laughs> at the base and yeah I, I actually love this a vintage uh, pattern of a Fendi okay so this is um, I would say a go-to or to-go bag and um, this is a small bag as you can see uh, let's uh, look at the measurements but I just love guys I just love the um, very um subtle uh but very cute hardware over there i would just say it's very classy of fendi this is one of the most unique of fendi's um, i've ever owned um, because of the shape and um because of the hardware in in front at first i didn't even know how to open the <laughs> how to open the lock or if the lock works at all uh, so I, I've had to um, do a lot of uh, you know tries and I've had to ask my husband to double check if it locks up properly but it does okay it's just that it wobbles and it makes a sound as you um, you know as you carry it so I'm not re really sure but anyway uh, I haven't worn this bag per se because I just got it last week and uh, I'm still trying to um, sanitize it and air it out because it had a little bit of um, smell it's not uh, it's not a very very um, awful smell it's just that um, it had like a, a little bit of cigarette smell so that's what I'm trying to get rid of right now and I think it has been completely removed okay so let's look at the measurements of the bag so this of course is a vintage bag so this is a, um, so this is eight inches in length and then it's um, like uh, eight almost eight inches in height and <clears throat> The width could be um, it is like two inches so again this is a coated um, coated canvas all right so choose that the back look at that shape it's really really cute this is actually very very um, modern I would say <laughs> and yeah now let's look at the straps guys uh, vintage stra straps normally would be just plain leather but this time I, I love it because the outer surface has the coated canvas and um, while it's leather on the inner surface okay so of course it has that uh, very subtle Fendi Fendi here now uh, the hardware might have a little bit of tarnishing so there you go oh geez there let me just the hardware is a little bit um of course it's scratch up and um yeah but the bag itself is really really in excellent condition guys i'm sorry of uh, the back the noise in the background is my um washer i even had to turn off the dryer <laughs> but still you know i i cannot interrupt the washer i don't want to so i think the only flaw on this bag is just a little bit I don't know it's a little bit um, frayed here but it's not actually very very obvious okay and now let's look at the um, 
interior of the bag so it has this uh, regular um, uh, black um, it's like a very smooth leather interior and it has the Fendi SAS um, made in Italy thing there if you can see that and um, the the serial number guys is just over here written in in gold num um, gold print here it's on the here there you go so I, I think this is perfect of course this has uh, the hardware again is um, hardware has FF here zipper pull and of course it has FF in the back of the zipper there you go so as much as possible I really don't like this kind of lining because it can get snugged and um, it can get snugged and scratch up and uh, you cannot pull it out but of course you know with vintage um, this is a lot better than the lining of, um, of vintage Gucci's that's just a nightmare guys <laughs> the lining of vintage Gucci's is a total nightmare you have to brush it off and it's really really nasty it's just a disaster uh, okay so there you go so the serial number is um oh jeez i can't even read it's just oh okay anyway it doesn't matter so look at that look at the opening of the bag so you can uh fit your cell phone in here and some essentials face mask and everything else and then just lock it i mean it's it has a zip top oh that's the side by the way and then just yeah, so this has a, um, it's very secured <laughs> because aside from the zipper, you also have this. It just adds, uh, you know, double security. Yes. So there you go. This is a beautiful vintage find, guys. And yes, I bought this on online and um, yeah, I'm very happy with it. Okay, bye.